Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of Hackintoshing, and I've got a game changer for you. It has become more accessible than ever before. In this video, I'll guide you through this new method, which simplifies the process significantly compared to traditional methods like flashing raw files and restoring it using Belina Etcher or using macOS recovery, which is painfully slow. A golden rule in Hackintosh is to read Dortania's installation guide, which is an invaluable resource for Hackintosh enthusiasts because it provides a comprehensive and up-to-date guide to creating and maintaining Hackintosh setups. By having a basic foundation of Dortania's guide, you'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of Hackintoshing and create a successful and stable setup. Hackintoshing involves modifying your computer's hardware and software, which can potentially lead to unintended results or data loss. It's strongly recommended to perform these steps on a secondary or spare computer that you don't rely on for critical tasks. Always back up your important data before proceeding. You have been warned. Let's find out if your computer can run Mac OS. There's a simple tool called OpCore Simplify. It'll check your hardware and tell you if it's compatible. If your computer can handle it, OpCore Simplify will create a special configuration file called the EFI folder. This folder has everything your computer needs to boot into Mac OS. Click the link in the top right corner of this video to visit the OpCore Simplify guide. Pause this video and watch the guide first. Come back here after you've successfully generated the EFI folder. Now the next step would be the USB port mapping, which is essential for ensuring your Hackintosh recognizes and functions properly with all your USB devices. It involves defining the correct port types and locations so that Mac OS can accurately identify and communicate with your peripherals. Click the link in the top right corner of this video to visit the USB port mapping guide. Pause this video and watch the guide first. Come back here after you've successfully mapped your USB ports. Depending on your preference, I have wide variation of guides you can follow. Do you want a single operating system on your computer, which is mainly Mac OS? Or do you want Mac OS as addition to your existing Windows computer? Or perhaps you want to experience three operating systems, or better yet, have a multiple variation of Mac OS instead. This guide is the comprehensive information on Hackintoshing. Basically, this guide is the foundation of this new method of installing or restoring a Hackintosh. Following this video guide will wipe your current operating system on your computer. It will be a single Mac OS will be installed. Most of us are using Windows 10 or 11. It's hard to leave this junk, I mean operating system, on our computer. You can put Mac OS together with your current Windows OS. That's what you will learn on this video guide. If you have a secondary drive, the procedure is the same. Just install the Mac OS Restore image to whichever drive you want. Click the link in the top right corner of this video to visit the guide. So you have Windows and Mac OS on your Hackintosh, and you want to explore the world of open source, where no one is tracking and collecting your data. You will learn how to add Linux into your current dual boot system. Click the link in the top right corner of this video to visit the video guide. You want to have some Mac OS party on your computer, experiencing the different versions of Mac OS. For whatever reason you want to go there, you will learn how to do just that in this video tutorial. Click the link in the top right corner of this video to visit the guide. And for the most part, I added some useful video guides for any errors or fixes on your Hackintosh. I will add them all up in the description box of this video, check them up later. I will also recommend to read the Dortania install guide, for it has some fix if you encounter errors on your Hackintosh. And a quick little Google search too can help for it offers an immediate answers to your questions. If you found these videos helpful, feel free to buy me a coffee to show your appreciation. You can scan this QR code or go into the Ko-fi link on the description box. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.